guys, welcome to the final lesson of S Editions in Business Academy waitlist. So if you're watching this, that means you are on the waitlist. Dude, my hair is crazy. You are on the waitlist to get S Editions in Business Academy info. You're on the waitlist to get the lowest price it's ever going to be. It's a course that literally, guys, is just my brain in one place. Um, it is everything of how to go from, you know, nothing to a esthetician that has a full running business. Um, it's taking your business from um, literally zero to hero. It is all the things it is like everything. So esthetician wise in one place. So I'm so grateful for you guys for being here because uh, it's just like my passion. So anyways, this week, guys, in this training, we are going to be talking about a few different things, um, but we're going to be going over taxes first, and then we're going to move into like finding a suite, some industry tips I have of our last little section. So let's start with taxes. So obviously, taxes are sexy. Everyone loves them, right? But in reality, team, taxes are something that we have to pay regardless of how big your business is or how small your business is. So income taxes is that thing that you pay at the end of every single year that you pay to the IRS. Um... And as well as statisticians, guys, we're almost always going to have to pay taxes. Like, we ain't getting money back. Like, the likelihood of that, I don't know how your accountant does or your tax professional does. I'm not a tax professional, so this is not advice. But whatever they're doing, if they're getting your money back, please let me know. But anyways, so income taxes um, are something that's based off what you make. So you should be putting money away throughout the entire year. So at the end of the year, you're not like, where do I get $2,000? Where do I get $3,000? Like, what do I do? because you've probably spent it. So here's the thing, this is what we're gonna do, okay? So typically, they recommend, like the recommendation is 10% to 30% of your income goes into a bank account. Now 30% when you're making no money, when you're not really making a lot of money, right? So say you're making like $100,000 a year, 30% of that is a lot of money that you're having to put aside for your, your taxes, right? And so, Typically, if you're making that, I would probably say putting between 10% and 15% of what you make every single day, every single month, putting that into a bank account. So say you make $10,000 in a month, you're going to put $1,000 into a bank account for the end of the year. Now, if you are keeping track of your expenses, which I would recommend like writing down all your expenses for every single month, all year long, and at the end of the year, you're able to say like, hey, I actually you know, had $100,000 this year, but I had $80,000 in expenses, you're not going to pay as much. Um, and so sometimes, like, past few years, I've been able to, like, get my own refund, does that make sense? Like, because I put so much money behind, like, into a bank account that I was able to basically pay myself. It's, I don't know if that makes sense. Totally makes sense. All right, so you're going to be doing that. Well, while you're doing that, there's also something called sales taxes. So sales taxes are like the, you know, 10%, 9%, 6%, whatever that you pay on like goods. So if you're selling goods, so like retail or memberships or something like that, you have to pay sales taxes to somebody because your client's paying the sales taxes. Now that sales tax is not your money. It is the state's. So how that works is you're going to like reach out to your state IRS, essentially, and you're going to tell them like, hey, I own a business and I sell this and I need to pay you sales taxes. And the thing is, I've definitely spoken to a few people that have trained massage therapists, estheticians, and they don't pay, they told me that they just don't pay their sales taxes because it's like a few hundred dollars a year. And I'm just like, y'all, but if you get caught, like you go to jail, like that's fraud. So you want to make sure that you're paying your sales taxes. Now, if you're somebody who's like, you know what, Allison, I haven't paid anything and I've been open for years. It's okay. There's this thing called a voluntary disclosure program. You just call your IRS, the state IRS, you tell them you want to do that, and they'll walk you through the whole system. Basically, there's just no fees tacked on to you not paying your taxes. Um, I actually had to do that program because I didn't know I was doing anything wrong, and I wasn't paying anything until I learned otherwise. Um, actually, through my master's degree, I had to do a t paper on it, and it was like, I was like, oh my gosh, I freaked out. Like, freaked out. But it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. Um, so, but anyway, so those are your state taxes, I'm sorry, your, your income taxes and your sales taxes, sales taxes, honestly, guys, if you have a payment operating system, it should tell you how much sales taxes that you collected. And then that amount of money needs to go in a bank account to pay the state. Easy peasy. Okay. 
All right, next thing guys we're gonna talk about is finding a suite, finding a booth. Like I'm gonna go over just some few hints. If you're new to this industry or if you wanna move, um, my recommendation for a few different ways is getting connected on like Facebook groups if you're trying to find a place. Um, you can always talk to, cause people are always like posting stuff. You can always talk to um, a commercial realtor cause they can help you find certain places that are in your budget that are like what you would want. Um, you can always like post about it and ask questions about it. I personally found my suite that I was in, um, like by a drive by, <laughs> I literally no joke, um, like drove by and saw it and it was like, oh my gosh. And I was the last one in it. Um, I would recommend Googling, you know, like suites near me, booth rental near me. You can also look into offices. So like sometimes they'll have like office rental. Sometimes that is just a small space that you could use like an, like an office I'm sitting in right now. Um, you could use that kind of space. Just, you know, just want to make sure that it is exactly what you want and what you need when you're considering getting a suite. You want to make sure that it is going to fit the needs that you have and the noise level that you need and the smell level. So think about those things. Okay. All right. So last thing we're talking about is our, some industry tips. Now I've been in this industry for a pretty long time, almost a decade, and I've learned some things. So some things and obviously, this is just like my suggestions, you know, um, but there's, here's some tips. First one is if you are in a suite all day long with no windows and you're not seeing this daylight, I would recommend supplementing with some vitamin D. Now, I am not a doctor, so I would definitely talk to your practitioner before you choose to do anything. But supplementing with vitamin D is definitely going to help your mood. It's definitely going to help how you feel because I know for me, I was like, if I don't get some type of sunshine, I'm going to freak out because I was there for so long and I was just in like this little room with no sunlight. So I would really encourage you to get out and walk outside between your services um, and really just like, you know, obviously we're not looking to tan, wear your sunscreen, but just make sure that you do have parts of you exposed that don't have sunscreen on so that you can absorb some vitamin D. Um, and depending on your Fitzpatrick really is dependent on like how long you need to be out there to get the vitamin D you need. Um, so just definitely a tip for that. Next tip would be pack a lunch. If you are living off of coffee and a donut, you're going to freak out. Like you're going to burn out because you're just not fueling your body. So bring a lunch. Um, you can always bring a sandwich or a wrap. You can make like chicken salad or, um, you know, like yogurt, like something guys, like make a smoothie and put it in your fridge. If you have one, like you want to make sure that you are nourishing your body because when we are taking care of someone all day long and you're not nourishing yourself, like that sucks, right? So eat some food. Um, my next thing would be, let me think. Oh, having a drink next to you with a straw. So water. So I had like a cart that was like next to me that um, I would have all my products on. And I always kept my Yeti on there with a straw in it. Because you don't want to like make the sounds like opening a bottle or like pushing the thing. Like you just want to be able to pick it up. Um, and I recommend this because we don't drink water. I don't know about you, but like I had to start being strategic about my water intake because like I would get home and I'm like, I am so dehydrated. Like you ever like watch the SpongeBob where he's like water? Like that's how I felt. <laughs> that's how I felt at the end of the day. So I would encourage you to find a way to get some water in your system without having to like chug it between services. Um, also when you like are thirsty, you just get stinky breath. So like make sure you, you know, have that. Also, lastly, um, or probably another like, well, not last, but another trick is if you are pregnant and you're nauseous, having those preggy pops where you just open up the plastic, just laid on the plastic, but during your service. So when you get nauseous, you can just take one. You have to make all that crinkly, like crunchy sound. It's really helpful. But honestly, my last suggestion to you guys and my last industry tip for you guys would be if you're somebody who has been in this industry for a while, you do learn that this is a wonderful industry, but it can be really catty. Um, it can be really sad to watch some people just be unkind and unloving. Um, so I would recommend if somebody is talking trash, they're more likely going to talk trash about you as well. And if someone is being mean to another esthetician, walk away from it, stop it. Just don't interact with it because it just brings it nasty. It just gets nasty. And then we start in this place, like when we, when we talk in those situations or part of that situation, like we we tend to start begin comparing ourselves 
to these people and uh, we get in this place in comparison that just steals our joy and like our main focus needs to be running a business and coming home and having fun with our lives and not having to deal with all that BS that sometimes can happen when we get in a room full of people that have different opinions and so I just encourage you just to love and be nice um <laughs> please uh because this industry is made to be helpful like if you're consuming more value than you're giving like switch it up switch it up because I used to get literally told being told so even even with making these videos I have been told by people that I was like yeah I'm making this video these videos for my waitlist people and they're like you're giving away more information I'm like yes because one my 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 course has so much value in it and then, so I'm making these videos to support you and help you and love you. So just give more value. Live in such abundance that if you give value away, that you know it's going to come back to you. You know it's going to pay you tenfold. So I just encourage you, as I am well over 10 minutes, to love one another. Um, <laughs> and take care of yourself. Take some vitamin D. And uh, talk, to your, talk to your doctor first. Um and that's all the stuff, guys. So um, the next stuff you guys should be seeing is really the launch of EBA. So if you guys are, you know, watching this, I would highly recommend you really stick close to your emails because I will be releasing it to, I don't know, I'm whispering it, but to everybody who's on my wait list. Um, and that's going to make the already extremely discounted price for you guys. So very excited. See you guys there. Bye.